Uh, good afternoon, YouTube. Um, I feel like I need to bring something very important. Um, yesterday, um, this after this guy brought us the the pellets and stuff like that right there. These people are awesome people, and um, he didn't expect uh, anything to be handed to him right away. And I told him I'd give it to him later on at the end of the month. And um, he brought us some, uh, 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 some uh, chips and stuff like that for our bunny. Um, this this married couple is like awesome, you know. Uh, they are very understanding. I know it kind of seemed like he walked away with disappointment, hoping that he would get the money back right away. And I don't want to. I'm not out to disappoint people. But later on, after that, I just want to let everybody know that even though, you know. I know there's very, very few good people out there. And honestly, um, first of all, before I say anything, before I, before I get into det detail, a big shout out to Tim again. Dude, you are awesome. You know, your family is awesome. I'm very happy that your father's getting the transplant soon. That's a God's blessing right there. And uh, a big shout out to the family that brought the rabbit to me. Um, I'm sorry if I upset you. Um, and I was just, at that point in time, I was talking to you and letting you know what was going on. I was going through a little issue. And um, I didn't, I wasn't trying to make it known. I don't know if you noticed, but I was trying to make it known that um, I was under a, a little bit of a depression. Um, to the point to where later on it got a little bit more serious and I was uh, in tears. I wound up going to the hospital and uh, I was supposed to be there for three days because of my mental issues. But uh, they gave me a, a shot that helped me uh, kind of control it a little bit more. Um, it's not easy out here. And uh, but this bunny that you... Uh, sold to us is easy to take care of you know um, I wouldn't expect you to uh, bring all this much to us don't get me wrong I wasn't expecting all this I really wasn't and you know I was just uh you know I was just thinking he was gonna like bring a small bag of some stuff and um, like some pellets uh, and, like in a cup like this right here uh, that I put her grass in and you know a little bit of all uh, the uh, stuffing or the uh, uh, chip stuff that you know I, I didn't expect uh, all of this I really didn't that was uh, right right then and there um, a blessing you know um, and I didn't mean to make you mad I'm just letting you know well, what was on my mind I didn't expect all of this I really didn't um, but I will pay you back. Uh, that's my word. I will pay you back. Um, Jennifer and I both agreed on it. And um, when I went to the hospital last night, you know, um, I came close to where I wanted to just call it quits. And because I thought my wife deserved better. She was at, she's been out here with me for way too long. And I still think like that. You know, it's just she does deserve better way better you know you, you just don't know exactly uh, everybody watches my YouTube uh, mine and Jennifer's YouTube with with, with Jasper it's hard it, it, it puts I've, I've fought for solo so 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 long keeping my hopes and faith and everything up it's just it seems like it's a never-ending thing of fighting and fighting and fighting and finally it finally got to me it hit me like bam, like that you people got to understand, we have feelings too, okay? Um, undoubtedly when the guy brought the bunny to us, he knew what the bunny was going to be there for, uh, for us to hold, um, for us to do everything uh, that we needed to do. And, you know, it was just, I don't know. I grab that. We have feelings too, we have a heart, and sometimes we go through difficult situations. And I need people to understand, I need this YouTube to be successful, very, very successful. 
I can't find nothing. No jobs. Nothing. And um, there's this one guy that uh, works at uh, as a security guard. I don't know if he watches any of my videos, but uh, anymore. But um, I don't mention any names. It kind of disappointed me and broke my heart that it got to the point to where I almost killed myself. And I'm gonna have a talk with him when I see him come if he comes in tonight. And I'm going to let him know that that was very, very disappointing. And it really made me think that I really didn't deserve anything. You know, even though uh, after all the help that he gave me, this was my number one top priority goal. Because this was my dream was to become an actor. And he made a promise to me that he was going to take me. And he was going to go himself. And when he didn't show up, it really broke my heart. And it hurt. And it still hurts. It, I, I mean... There's times where I sit up here and I still want to cry. You know, I, I'm I'm really offended by what people think about me. You know, I've been told on YouTube uh, some of the, some of the viewers that you know we don't want you on here. We want your wife and your bunny on here. We don't want to see you on here. I've been told uh, on YouTube that you know, um, it, it, it's it's it, it, you're too stupid to understand. That uh, you don't deserve a, a good woman like that right there. Um, I've been told that, uh, you know, we, we, we watched your past videos and we noticed that you said that uh, your family disowns you and doesn't want you. And once you just go ahead and off yourself and get it over with, we don't want you on here. Um, I, I've been told so many things, you know, very, very, very heartbreaking things that it, it, it almost caused me to do that. I'm yes I gotta keep this on film guys because I got an officer right here yes hey, somebody it looked like somebody called in to do a check because the door was open they thought no I'm letting air get in oh I see yeah I'm letting air get in okay because it gets hot and a little windy yeah yeah and my wife can't get overheated okay is so, this uh have you been here a while yeah okay how long are you plan to stay for? Um, until I'm, I'm waiting for a mechanic to get out here uh, and I'll help me out. Uh, he's supposed to help me with my ignition up under here to where I can, we can try to reprogram it. Okay. Okay, if you look right up under here. How many times does it have the uh, cops already talked to you? What? Yeah, the first yeah. time. Really? Yeah. Okay. All the rest of them that drive by know who I am. They, they don't bother me. Okay. They either wave at me, <coughs> give me a thumbs up, whatever. Right, we'll let our dispatch know because people are just calling to check in on you and make sure everything's good. Yeah, well, well we that's actually a good thing. That lets me know that there are some people that has a kind heart. All right. Thank What's you. The YouTube channel? <laughs> oh, you read that? Is that a joke or is it real? No, it's no. Real, no. Dude. Uh, that's my YouTube channel right there. And it's gotten where, uh, you know, where I'm trying to make this what I do for work. Trying to make money because nobody's hiring. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, it's a lot about how we got things, getting things uh, taken care of. I, I'm, I'm, I'm like filming right now. So, you know, uh, it's. I just got out of the hospital last night, uh, this morning, should I say, because of mental issues. Yeah. Uh, I was getting a lot of disturbing things off my, um, off my YouTube. Uh, people telling me that I deserve it just off myself. I don't deserve my wife. We don't want you on here, things like that. But I got the help I needed. I'm back. They released me this morning because they had people in more urgent need okay. than I did. Uh, any sort of timeline, you know, when you might be able to get it fixed? Uh, <laughs> if if not anytime soon, I'll probably wind up pushing it down here to Balboa. Okay. I have no problem with that because I pushed this vehicle by myself before several times. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Thank you. So thanks for checking in. You're welcome. Check my channel out. Like and subscribe, man. It's got good stuff on there. Sounds good. No, actually, people were checking in, being concerned about us, and I guess they read. I guess somehow someone was able to check out some of the comments that was being said on my YouTube, and or I should say on our YouTube, and. They saw the door open and stuff like that, and they was wondering, checking in on us to make sure we're okay. Uh, they asked how many times officers have been out here, and I told them none. 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 They, they, they leave us alone. Yeah. 
and um you know it's just in that right there people is proof that i've got a lot of respect and i hope y'all see that if i ever ever see any more disrespectful comments like that again I do have a way to go into your YouTube find out exactly where you're located and I will call law enforcement here and show them exactly what you said to me it calls me and I will file a report against you That hurt my fucking feelings, people. Cops just showed up. People were concerned about me. Because of people like you people. I have rights to be successful in something. <laughs> Why is it do you people have to be so hateful toward me? Not all of you, just the ones that sent me those messages. Why do y'all have to be so hateful toward me? What is it that I did to cause you people? Was it because I told it like it was to you people? you don't have the brains nor the common sense to understand somebody else's feelings? You know what I got to say about that? Fuck you. Because there are people that are on my YouTube, our YouTube, the likes, what they see now with the bunny in it. And you're wanting me to stay out of it because you say I don't deserve it? I tell you what. For the ones that think, don't think I deserve it, the day you come over and you put a bullet right here in my head is when I'll know for a fact I don't deserve it. But until then, screw you. For the ones that have been subscribing, the, the others that have been subscribing and saying nice compliments, thank you. But for the ones that are hateful, you don't think I deserve it? I don't want you to aim anywhere else but right here. If you think you're better because I'm homeless and you think my wife deserves better, you come and put a bullet right here. Right here. You put it right to my head and you pull that trigger. And then my wife will know for a fact that I don't deserve her. That hurt my feelings. And now I got cops coming out here to check. And you heard that on YouTube. You didn't see them. But you heard them. But you saw the deck of car driving by. I know y'all saw that on video. I told you guys I got respect. But sometimes that respect gets torn down. That hurt me. You don't realize what kind of impact bad words could put on people. I deserve better than what I get, but according to the ones that are hateful, you don't think I do. And you want to know something? I bet the ones that are saying that are probably in a, a, a predicament where they're about to get kicked out of their home. Or they lost their job, and they're wanting to put somebody down to make them feel better. You know, if anything was said like that back home where I'm from, and y'all said that kind of stuff, 
us country boys, backwoods, the people back home, Georgia, they would try to find their very best to find out who you are, where you live at, and they would be at your doorstep in a matter of days. And I don't mean months, I mean days. Two, three, four days, maybe five. They will find you. I'm not like that. But the people back home where I'm from, they are. They won't hesitate. They will find you. And they won't stop. Because once you see that double barrel in your daggum uh, forehead or at your chest or pointed in your face, they'll know, you will know they found you. Because they will ask around and ask around until they say, oh no, he lives right over here. Because once they see what kind of truck they have or whatever, they're going to stay out of it. They're going to know they mess with the country boys, backwoods boys. For me, no, I'm not going to do that. You want to know why? Because I'm a much better person than that. You mad because I told it like it was to you. You mad. The females are mad because I told it like it was to them. And they didn't like it. None of y'all, like, all of y'all haters liked it, didn't like it all. And then you decide to say all them hateful things and tear me down. And it worked. And you almost succeeded in making me commit suicide. But you didn't because God spoke to me. And told them to send me home. <coughs> I deserve a home. I deserve a life. I deserve my family and I got people telling me don't give up don't give up on your dream don't give up on your dream you want to know something you think you can do a better job you go get that dream of mine I could have played a role of a clone of Superman or I could have played a role of something else of a, uh, another kind of superhero you never know I could have blown your head away I could have blown your mind by my acting skills. Y'all don't want to sit there and like what I got to say. I get maybe one, two, three, four views. That's it. No likes, no comments, no nothing. You don't want to say something. When I've been trying to get you to say something. Only way that I'm going to improve the YouTube is if y'all view, like, or dislike and you give me comments yeah. but just because you want to see my wife and my bunny and you oh we don't want to see you on YouTube you're a disgrace you don't deserve this man give the daggum YouTube to your wife you're ugly I hope you kill yourself God bless you anyways but I'm just gonna give you a fair warning that struck me down If you don't like me, you don't have to watch me. No. Only reason I'm back on here right now is because my therapist told me to stand up. You if you want to see some reactions out of me, if you want to see something better, then help me do something better. Give me ideas. That's what I've been trying to tell you people. Give me something to get more subscribers. Give me something to improve. Give me something that you want to see. If I think I could do it, I'll do it. If I think I can't, I'll let you know. If you want me to do it, you got to help me do it. That's why I got my cash up and my PayPal on there. The vehicle, right? I can't go nowhere. You want to see something more exciting? Then help us. Then help us. I'll make you all a deal right now. You help me improve my viewers, my likes, my comments. 
even higher. You had helped me get more subscribers. And I mean more than a thousand, more than two thousand, more than three thousand. You keep leaving comments and stuff like that right there. I've already succeeded on a couple of my promises. What makes you think I ain't gonna uh, uh, succeed in the other promises? You take that Cash App and that PayPal and you start helping us. Maybe we can get somewhere so I can do the other promises, like the uh, ghost, of, like the ghost hunting at Alcatraz and other places. Getting the uh, uh, equipment that we need, doing more professional filming, and more. How do you think these? How do you think these uh, uh, people out here that are doing movies and stuff like that? How do you think they get all their camera equipment and all the stuff they get? Because they get paid by us. All the money that comes in, people are spending. They're getting paid. We, they get paid by us. No. Duh. All I got to say is that you need to grow up and you need to know, you, you the money that you put in from making, you got a dream, go for it. There's this one guy that's on uh, Instagram. He's a black guy. He had done a damn good advertisement. I'm not going to stand for this no more, people. I'm not going to stand for this no more. Quit, being judging people. Quit judging me. You either give me the benefit of the doubt or you unsubscribe and get off my channel. So people that do want to give me a chance will. I don't need people who are going to be haters on my on my YouTube. No. You don't have room for haters, dude. I don't have room for it. You go be a hater somewhere else. My wife don't like haters. She don't want to be around me. Dude. One of these days, you're going to know how I feel. And when someone hates on you, you're going to probably stand up and be a bully and you're not going to do that. Don't do that kind of stuff. Because the next person you do it to, it's either not going to be very, very pleasant. They're going to come after you. Or they're going to go ahead and do what you want them to do and uh, off themselves. And then what is that going to do to you? It's going to put you in jail. Because the police will go through their phone. They will see the comments and stuff like that. And then after that, Oh, that's right. You people will be charged with murder by mental abuse. Mm -hmm. And where is that going to land you? Your life taken away. You ain't going to be able to accomplish nothing then. Nothing. Where would now you tell me where do my where would my wife and my family be without me? Where would my girls what would my girls say to their mother? Mom, where's dad? Well, she can't tell and she won't be able to tell them because she'll be too heartbroken to tell them. Mm -hmm. I don't understand why why people do this to people like me. Oh, you think it's because I'm good hearted and everything, I'm soft? No. You got a second thing coming. Is that what my therapist said to me, both of them? Y'all got a rude awakening coming. I want more respect. And I'm gonna get it. One way or another. One way or another. 
Now, if you people want to see more, then help us. I can't do this by myself. Living out here on these streets, it's not working. I need money flowing in. I need a crap load of subscribers. I need these subscribers to reach over the amount. I don't care, surprise me. Get me to where I'm beyond a thousand. I wouldn't care if you spread it around and get me over millions of subscribers. I'm not going to stand for it anymore, people. But I'm damn sure not going to give up something that I want because of you. Because your self-esteem is so low, it's not even funny. You've been shot down. So what? Pick yourself back up. That's what you do. When someone shoots you down, you pick yourself back up, like my therapist told me. That's just how it's gonna be. Understand this, people. I'm a good-hearted person. But don't ever push me beyond that limit again. Because I can get real mean meaner than what I am now if anybody has actually seen my other side I guarantee you would have a different thought about me guarantee it a lot of my friends right here has seen me pissed and they're actually they actually know my boundaries Don't ever. I go through enough of it of a sorry son of a gun down this way that owns a cafe. Keep on spreading rumors about me. I already had enough of that. It ends as of today. Or else I will figure out a way to get your YouTube shut down if I get any more comments like that. Promise you. You give it some thought. You spread it around. And before you even think about any more comments, better think twice. Because there is ways on YouTube you can report it and tell them exactly what's going on and they will shut your YouTube down. They will shut your channel down. I'll do it right. I'm not going to be like my... Like my fellow people back home. I'll do it right. I'm just giving you a fair heads up. Don't do this kind of stuff to everybody. Because the next person may come after you. I won't. There's a little report button. All I gotta do is press it. And tell them exactly what you're doing. And your YouTube is done. I'm gonna let you guys go and give it some thought. I hope this page gets spread around and shared to where good people can actually see how I feel and what I go through.